Hi everyone, I'm Edita Sitar from Laundry Basket Quilts. Welcome to Quilting Window and welcome to week four of our mystery quilt. We're having so much fun this year with our mystery. You guys are being a, a adventurous with me. We've done a river, we, cl uh, we did a beautiful forest, then we rest in a cozy cabin and this week I want to pull you along and climb up a mountain of half square triangles. Are you ready? I hope so. For our adventure you're going to need a pattern. You can go to our website and our blog and download the pattern Mystery Quill 2024 week 4. This is the pattern we need today. We're gonna need background and I'm gonna be using this beautiful blue from our bundle. We have the mystery background bundle. I pulled the blue already set it up next to me and you can use scraps from your stash or you can get some of those little rolls that we have on our website and I'm gonna be using the black roll the purple one and this beautiful teal and green I cannot wait to make a gorgeous mountains out of those beautiful colors oh I'm so so excited now I'm gonna start by just cutting squares all the measurements how many squares everything is on our website on our blog I'm gonna start by cutting squares and this is perfect time to dive into your stash and reuse any leftover scraps this is gonna be perfect from the squares by just placing my ruler and matching point to point and lining my 45 degree angle I'm gonna cut half square triangles I'm using the traditional way of making half square triangle we're just gonna be sewing them two half square triangle together to make a one unit we're not using triangle paper we're not using any other technique this is just so basic so fun because when you're climbing the mountain you just have to take a little step at a time and I'm hoping that this is gonna give you fun relaxation when you start matching your half square triangle you're gonna have some purples you want to match them with teals you're gonna have some darks you want to match them with greens for more color inspiration make sure you flipped to uh, uh, this page in a pattern when I'm showing you right here what we're going to be making and notice that I place my half square triangles in the darker color in the bottom of the mountain and I shaded light to the tip of the mountain making them in nice purples and gold so this is gonna be fun 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 all your little scraps are perfect for this moment now once you decide on your color combinations you're gonna take half square triangles and place them right sides together just like this and stitch as soon as you finish stitching you're gonna go ahead push uh, this open press your seam allowance towards one side I'm pressing towards the blacks and the purples and uh, then next I'm gonna check if my unit is two and a half by two and a half if it's not I'm gonna be trimming if it's uh, right then it's perfect I'm really loving this half square triangles this one was already trimmed so it is perfect if your half square triangles are a little too big it means that you can trim it if they're too small it means you're taking too big of a quarter inch seam allowance I have been using my uh, 2370 orofill thread to stitch mine so the thread hides really nice in the seams as soon as you make all your half square triangles it's going to be time to lay them out and line them up to rows and in the pattern right there on this page I want to show you this this is quite important it shows you how I line them into like columns with half square triangle on the top this one is just a uh, one little half square triangle why do I need that because I want to tips to my uh, tops to my uh, mountains as uh, you uh, flip through the pages you're gonna see that you have all different units that you're gonna have to line up you're gonna sew the units uh, together sew them into those columns then sew them together and line them up you're gonna go ahead and finish the 
top with this background blue fabric right here and in the pattern we mark all the backgrounds when you cutting your background blue pay attention there is a little bit of a direction in the in the fabric if it matters to you that all the um, um, pieces go the same direction make sure that half of your uh, big uh, triangles right here is cut one way and the other uh, half is cut in opposite direction so that way when you laying out your pieces they're gonna uh, go in the right direction I didn't to me it wasn't uh, didn't matter I just cut my half square triangle and enjoyed them because I thought that gives like a fun wind and a wave through my sky uh, as soon as I finish uh, cutting them I sew everything together sew my units add my sky right here and I can't wait to show you and there's more steps more steps right there so slowly take your time make sure that everything is pressed sew it together to one big row one big unit and that is what I want to show you right now because I'm so excited I had a wonderful weekend preparing this for you guys and I hope you enjoy this mystery look at this look at this this is so much fun I have my mountains done and I can't wait to do the next step with you so right there remember when you placing your finish half square triangles use the lightest one on the top your teals it's gonna give a fun glow to your sky I hope you enjoy today climbing mountains with me and hiking up the hill of half square triangles I cannot wait to show you what's next uh, upcoming in the next week happy quilting and enjoy your hike mm -hmm.